Hey guys, it's your girl Onana and this is Onana Nation. So if you're new on this channel, a very special welcome to you. Please go ahead and subscribe honey because you would definitely love it here. A shout out to all our amazing subscribers, you guys are the ish. I appreciate you guys so much for all the love and support. So today we're going to be doing updates on Biggie Studios, which is Cameroon's version of Big Brother. So um, today we have accusations in the house, my people. Wahala, witchcraft matter enter this house. So we have one of the contestants. Her name is Diamond. Diamond slept and woke up and she's making solid allegations in the house today. So it'd be like, say, people came into this house with small doom doom yum yum, <laughs> okaramo okaramo tied exactly. to their waist and their chesticles. So you know how every every place where there's a group of people, some people in that group must be believing in witchcraft and sorcery and all that stuff. So it's funny because when Diamond mentioned witchcraft, I was like, huh. This is not the first time we're hearing about witchcraft in this biggie house so what is going on remember when fish and patients had issues biggie had asked fish in one of the diary sessions like fish why are you querying with patients fish said biggie i don't know me oh because i had had a dream where god told me that somebody in this house is practicing voodoo somebody in this house is using juju that's what fish told biggie so when um diamond woke up this morning and said she had a dream that somebody was pressing her in the night and it's not the first time it's actually the circle or the third time it's happening to her she sleeps at night and it's like somebody's coming to press her neck and her neck when she wakes up in the morning the neck is really painful, like physically you know how things happen to people sometimes in the dream and you wake up the next morning and physical evidence is there like somebody was pressing you at night so that's the situation of diamond today one of the contestants in biggie studios diamond is complaining that somebody pressed her at night when she slept and it's not the first time it's happening to her and when she woke up, Magdo was the one sleeping right in front of her. I just sent to her. So Diamond is suspecting that Magdo is the one who pressed her at night. She's suspecting that Magdo is the witch. And Magdo is like, see me see trouble. Oh. You, Dwala, sleep, Queen, we sleep, don't finish for your eye. You come out, you don't do your all your Christine, the Dwala. Your people are haunting you for the things you've been doing in your lifetime. You don't come for Biggie House. Now you want to carry it and put it on my head. Me, Magdo, me, witchcraft, how? It's that which day. So that's the whole genesis of the query. You see the ladies quarreling here. Diamond is accusing Magdo of witchcraft that she dreamed that Magdo was pressing her neck. She didn't dream of Magdo pressing her neck. She saw someone pressing her neck. So she woke up and Magdo was the one right in front of her staring her in the face when she woke up. So she just assumed it was Magdo and she just started quarreling and insulting Magdo the whole day. And you know witchcraft allegations are not light they're not the kind of thing that somebody accusing you of witchcraft is not a joke it's not a play something so Mado took it very seriously and she started fighting the um, um diamond and you know Magdo and diamond were really too close when the game started they were like two tight friends all of a sudden they are fighting today and you know when friends are fighting secrets are coming out and all that stuff so diamond was really mad and she equally told Magdo, Magdo, you you're a witch you nominated me for eviction you're supposed to be my friend in this house we are supposed to be cool but you go behind my back to nominate me for eviction mcdo again washed her hands she's like damn on me nominated you i did not do that though so there's a lot of drama in this house today so i was giving you guys a little introduction for those who listen and hear a lot of cursing a lot of shouting and you will not understand where all of this is coming from so that's the summary the fighting and there's witchcraft allegations going on in the house this is not the first time the second the first time was from fish and now fish said god had told him that somebody in the house is using juju and now um diamond is saying the same thing so is there more to these allegations than meets the eye how would we know there's no witchcraft detective or there's no witchcraft detection machinery somewhere you know it is what it is people can only tell you how they feel and the dreams and the visions they have but we have no way of proving it and indeed the wall of mystery does exist things like this do exist some of us went to boarding school we went to school with some of these children and you know when it's shower time rub down time we all go to you know our bathrooms and we're taking our showers you see your classmates they have little chains tied around their waist and you are wondering like what is going on here sometimes we literally ask these girls what is this thing you're tying on your waist every day and they will tell you this thing huh my grandma came from the village she gave me you oh, my grandma told me to put this on my waist every day and you'll be wondering like wow people actually have small charms small potions that they carry with them every day and you are sitting there looking at people like wow in this day and age people still practice these things yeah it does exist so yeah 
Diamond is telling us her feelings today or her dreams and all that stuff. We cannot prove it. We can only listen to her side of the story and hope that, you know, the little girl seems to be traumatized. She was really going through it today. She was really crying and all that stuff. If it, if it is in fact true and it is affecting her stay in the house, it is good for her to leave. Or, you know, I don't know what they're going to make of that. Your safety comes before anything else. Your life is more important. If you feel like your life is being threatened in one way or the other, if you feel like you're being tormented, that's her word. She said she was being tormented and that she had told Driba, she had told a few housemates in the house about how tormented she was. If you're tormented, money, like not all money is good money. I know you're there because you want to win 15 million. But if in the, in the course of fighting for 15 million, you see that your life is being threatened and you are being tormented, it's time for you to back down out of that race i mean go home and you know find the treatment and all that stuff i think it happened to me brother niger too this year somebody went back home i think he had mental health issues he went back home yeah so feel free to go back anytime you feel like you're not feeling good so next diary room session when biggie is talking to this lady he has to ask her are you feeling comfortable do you feel like going home do you want to stay do you want to continue playing the game biggie definitely has to ask her that like diamond how are you feeling today are you still feeling shaken are you still feeling traumatized do you want to continue the game do you want to take some time off and not participate in the task like what can we do for you do you need us to bring a pastor a spiritual leader of some sort to pray for you do you need someone to do <laughs> an exorcism this is funny but seriously when diamond is shaking like that maybe she needs to consult with her pastor or whoever biggie can facilitate that by asking her do you feel like when the pastor prays for you you're going to feel better do you feel like if you talk to your mom or her parents are of late do you feel like if you talk to your sister you're going to feel a lot better this is the time that biggie has to be there for her a housemaid is in distress biggie has to talk to her and maybe give her a phone so she can talk to her family and feel comforted and all that stuff so yeah that, that's the whole genesis of the matter today um diamond and mcdo were quarreling and also noni took over the quarrel noni came into the matter and started supporting mcdo and diamond just felt alone like it was the whole house against her so she started fighting noni to like noni the matter does not concern you don't put your mouth in what does not concern you it's between me and mcdo so that's how the drama became a house thing this camp versus that camp but diamond was just alone with all the other people supporting her like Cynthian and the other French speaking housemates. So it was just crazy today. I'm going to stop talking so you guys can watch this for yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I remember your girl Lunana. If you're new on this channel, you're welcome, honey. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And leave me some comments below in the comment section. What do you think about voodoo? What do you think about witchcraft? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's fake? What do you make of Diamond's dream today? Is she being a drama queen? Is she overreacting? Or do you think it's an element of truth to it? All right. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to stop talking now. I'm going to put the video here so you guys can see the fight as it happened. Love you guys. Stay safe. Don't go anywhere. Enjoy the video. <laughs> Thank you.
What's that called gay? Uh, your face, you didn't come with anything. People's face wipe get missing, and you automatically have a face wipe. People's brushes get missing, you have a brush. People's, you don't have body oil, but you rub oil. Yes, you make part of me. Tu as vu comment je dormais aujourd'hui, c'est le matin que le sommeil a bien. C'est trois jours qu'on me tourmente. Trois jours, j'ai parlé de ça à Pantier à Garo. Il peut testifier. J'ai parlé de ça. Yes, j'ai dit à Garo que j'ai rêvé la nuit. On me poursuivait jusqu'à dire entrer dans la tombe. Je t'ai dit ça, non Je t'ai dit, je m'aime. Je m'aime. Moi, je suis une enfant pour gronder. Je suis une enfant pour commencer ça. Je m'aime. Hier, on m'a touché jusqu'à regarder tout mon cou. Je n'ai pas dormi. On m'a poursuivi. J'ai vu que la face de Mado. Tu voulais que j'attaque qui je ne vais pas qui Non, Aïda, écoute-moi, je vais t'expliquer un petit truc, chérie, je vais t'expliquer un petit truc dans le mystique. Je vais t'expliquer. Tu vois, la vie du mystique, c'est une vie un peu plus compliquée, compliqué. tu vois. Dernièrement, tu as le petit conflit avec Mado. Moi, je te crois quand tu dis que on t'attaque mystiquement. C'est oui, parce qu'elle a un peu plus d'attaque mystiquement, c'est vrai. On va appuyer la nuit Jusqu'à j'ai fait quoi aux gens J'ai fait quoi aux gens pour que les gens soient jaloux L'autre dit qu'elle n'est pas lui Regarde, c'est lui de qui ici là C'est lui de qui ici là Ça ce n'est pas lui Ça ce n'est pas euh, euh, Manila lui Et là comment les gens sont jaloux de moi Ça ce n'est pas Dof Oui c'est ce qu'elle est en train de dire là-bas J'ai en train d'ambiguer, j'ai subi comment elle dit Ce n'est pas lui, ça c'est... J'ai pris de 5 bouteilles depuis ici là Les gens veulent quoi de moi Les gens sont jaloux de moi, pourquoi Pourquoi les gens sont jaloux de moi j'ai manqué quelque chose ici, j'ai combien de perruques ici là J'ai combien de habits Mado qui dit que je n'ai pas, je n'ai pas les choses. Elle a les habits. Ce n'est pas elle qui porte les mêmes choses tout le temps. Pourquoi les gens sont jaloux de moi Je ne suis pas bête. Je ne vous ai pas expliqué ça le matin parce que je voulais prendre ça pour moi. Je n'ai besoin de personne de me défendre. Dieu sait ce que je suis en train de dire. Même si c'est quelqu'un d'autre qui utilise sa face, je n'ai pas vu quelqu'un d'autre. La personne que j'ai vue, c'est la personne que je me suis agressée à eux. Ça peut aussi vous arriver demain. Maintenant c'est mon tour et j'ai besoin de personne. I don't want anybody. If anybody comes to the Biggie Mansion to strategize, they should not strategize to uh, uh, on top of my life. Biggie Mansion. People don't know what I went through in the night there. Eh? If you were in my shoes, I don't want that. I'm not stupid. The person I saw in the face is the person I'm addressing. I could address to any of you if I saw your face. Am I stupid? Am I stupid? This has been happening in the third time. And they think that you don't want me to address whether well, they should give before I address it. I am not scared of anybody. If you came to Biggie's mansion to strategize, strategize or not refuse it, but not against my life. I am standing for my life like everybody here. I will buy that. I will buy that. It's very important. It was a kitchen diamond. Kitchen room. You already mentioned the person you saw now. Go and shout to the person. We discussed something. Do you know something? This is not anybody's father's living room. I have the right to talk wherever I want to talk. And I am not addressing what it will have. I am addressing everybody. Everybody. Zier, this is not a problem. It is not affecting you. It's not affecting anybody. Zier, to me. Clement, please, can you put negative energy away from me? I am in the mood. I am towards my life. I am fighting for my life. You don't know what I went through in the night. People who follow me have to follow me in the very ground. People who follow me have to follow me. They prove that I have.
is it that you don't feel like you want to leave? Why are you still looking for that? Don't ever want to talk. No. Why do you pick up? 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 Why do you